Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson and you're watching Get Your Sax Together. Five weeks ago I taught you how to play the intro melody from Smooth Operator, linked up there. And following that I was inundated with requests asking me to cover Stuart Matthewman's solo in the middle of the song. Well, your wish is my command, so in today's free online sax lesson you'll be learning how to play the sax solo on Smooth Operator by Sade. Smooth Operator is from Sade's 1984 debut album Diamond Life and features the sax of multi-instrumentalist band member Stuart Matthewman aka Cottonbelly. This solo section isn't as easy as the melody part you learned a few weeks ago, so if you're a beginner on sax you may struggle a bit, especially if you play tenor. Remember to let me know in the comments if there's a classic sax solo or melody you'd like me to cover on the channel, but remember at the moment I don't cover vocal melodies that you want to play on sax, just actual sax lines. Before we learn the first phrase make sure you go down into the description for this video and click the link to get your free PDF sheet music for the Smooth Operator sax solo, which is lovingly transcribed by yours truly for tenor and alto sax. And keep watching to the end of the video, not just because of the usual blooper reel, but because I've included a free backing track for Smooth Operator that you can play along to. So without further ado, here's the first phrase broken down in slow motion. The first phrase is a bit buried in the mix, but I think these are the notes. Quick note if you play alto, this first phrase is up the octave from the original as it goes down to a low A, which is off the bottom of the instrument. Just before we move on to the second phrase let me quickly mention my free saxophone success masterclass. If you want to hang out with me for an hour and learn how to transform your tone, improvise a great solo or design a structured practice routine just go to the link in the description or you can visit www.getyoursaxtogether.com forward slash masterclass. Okay let's crack on now and look at phrase two. Here it is played nice and slowly. If you listen to the original or get the free PDF sheet music for Smooth Operator from the description, you'll notice that Stuart Matthewman scoops up to certain notes. If you want to learn how to do that properly, check out the video linked on the card above now, which shows you how to do every kind of bend, fall, scoop or glissando you can imagine. Moving on then, here's the third phrase in slow motion. You might notice that phrase three and most of the rest of the solo uses the minor blues scale, E minor blues scale for tenor and B minor blues scale for alto. I've done a whole lesson on the blues explaining those blues scales and much much more. Just click on the card linked above now to watch it. Here's phrase four now. Phrase 5 gets quite high for tenor, top F sharp and G. Last week I did a special epic length video on the altissimo range. If you struggle getting those high altissimo notes out, just go to the video linked on the card above now and all will be revealed. That's a totally banging video that one, so add it to your watch later list or whatever. Here's phrase 5, the penultimate phrase. Almost there now, here's the sixth and final phrase. I think this is my favourite phrase in the whole thing actually. It doesn't really make that much sense harmonically speaking but there's just something about it that I like. Okay, let's put this whole thing together now. Remember to get your free PDF from the description and follow along with each phrase as I play it. As usual, I've put together a backing track and after I've performed the song, you can play along with it on your own. 
as I always say, it's essential to go and listen to the original song and mimic the phrasing, timing, and tone if you want to sound convincing. In NLP, there's a phrase, the map is not the territory, and in music, you should remember, the chart is not the music. Knowing the notes and rhythms is only the start if you want to sound good. There's two bars of percussion, then one more bar after that before the sax comes in. Here we go. So that's it for this Sunday. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. And I really hope you enjoyed learning the tenor solo on Smooth Operator. Just before we get to the funky end card music and blooper reel, if you want to learn some more in-depth sax stuff, go to www.getyoursaxtogether.com forward slash masterclass and get your free one hour lesson with me. You can support me by giving this a video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and check out my Insta and Facebook pages. Next Sunday, I'm gonna do something a bit different. I've dug out some old sax quintet arrangements and I'm gonna perform one or two of them for you. To be totally honest, my brain gets a bit fried making home run videos every week. And also many of you said you'd like to hear me perform something on my own for a change. So that's what I'm gonna do. Until then, practice smart, keep having fun and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.